Okay, so we have the half diminished pentatonic too, but the minor pentatonic over here, if you if you look at it, minor pentatonic is just the major pentatonic, but start the scale from the from the relative minor <coughs> of the major shape. So um, that makes sense. So the minor pent the pentatonic. Okay, let's let's do it on the guitar. So the pentatonic E shape pentatonic would be would be root two three five six right. So it's root two three five six root two three five six root two. Okay, the minor pentatonic would be. Just starting that same thing. Here's A minor pentatonic if we're in the key of C. It's six root two three five six root two three five six root. That's why I don't do a separate chart. And this is very important to remember. What do we have to memorize and what do we not have to memorize? So first you have to memorize a certain minimal amount of things and then you have to learn and internalize how to use them. So that's how to use the uh, major pentatonic scales are, sim are just the minor pentatonic scales. Okay. So I have that right here. The major pentatonic scales and the minor pentatonic scales are ex the the string shapes are exactly the same. You know, so why should I redraw it? Okay, that that kind of thing. Why why redraw it? We're supposed to get an arrow here. There. All right. <clears throat> The minor and the major pentatonic scales, two, three on the top, five, six on the bottom, are the same thing. Just the minor start from either the two, the three, or the six. That's how you do that. And the way it stacks up, notice my choice of words, the way it stacks up, long pattern stack, we get our Phrygian, which is the three, the Aeolian, and the Dorian trio right here on the pattern stack in the C box. So that's interesting. So with C, with the C cage here, your C, C shape C, key of C, C, you got Phrygian, and the fourth of that is going to be Aeolian. Okay, and then the Dorian, so it's Phrygian, Aeolian, Dorian, the first three notes of each. Follow that pattern, you got your Phrygian scale, Aeolian, and Dorian. I followed my own little notes there, I didn't... I didn't um, choose the tuning, the tuning warp, or the tuning third. Or I heard somebody yesterday refer to it as the border. <laughs> okay, so no matter what you call it, it's the tuning third. It's right here. Um, it, actually, this is an all P4 tuning. <coughs> but if we were to move this part of the uh, of the graph over. And I can show you this better in paint. Okay, so here's a treat. We're going to do this in paint and it's going to work easier. Okay, and that is we have this root to four relationship here. Okay, so we have root to four here. We got root to four here. Okay, if we want to cut this at the Dorian. Okay, so let's say we're going to have the bottom string of this thing is going to be Dorian, uh, Aeolian. Let's say we're going to start the Aeolian, which is the, uh, you know, A minor pentatonic. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have six strings there. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to need this many strings 
okay and all we're going to do with this is move it over that's it so now that's warped right there okay see how it moves over and now we have these intervals down here four goes to six is a third I didn't it, it didn't it didn't show me where, where's my uh, third here I didn't get that so let's let's uh, go backwards with that a second we wanted to show the root to the third so we've got to bring this over so let's say our bottom string I don't, I don't know what our bottom string was if, if this is the if this is the if the top string is right here which is an A shape okay so we've got this much we've got this A shape thing so we've done that we've moved it one of the strings over and I'm going to show you how we do this we're going to copy that we'll just out of say out of uh, there and now we're going to put this back in here and I'm going to make it really big so we can focus on it okay so here it is don't worry about what's up here for a minute okay and don't worry about what's down here below this for a minute so this is what we have right here now we have an A shaped this doesn't matter here either the uh, C and the 4 that's kind of TMI there we have our A shaped box here we're not going to be looking at this 7 either okay so this is a little digression but Notice I moved it over. Now that it's warped over and we're looking at an A shape on the bottom here. Okay, so this is Mixolydian once again down here. Okay. Once again, we've got Mixolydian down here now. So, and we don't have any, any you know, need to uh, worry about what are we calling all this stuff okay so there it is and then of course we don't want half words over here okay and we're not going to play much of a Dor Dorian scale up there either so that's it this is our mixolydian cage it's our a shaped cage here's root five and there's three above the root you see how that works we took it from a pattern and we turned it into a, an a cage so it's 5, 6, and key of, G, uh, key of C would be 5, 6, 7, root 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, root. Now warp up. You know, hop, the, hop, hop, that, hop that third up here. Okay. That's how the warp works. Okay, so now that we've used up the, the better part of this segment, we're going to look at the string shapes individually. Okay, so here's, you know, it's cage, C A G E D, and this is the diatonic. This is the pentatonic. So now we're taking away the seventh and the fourth so this is what the string shapes look like and this is your basic these are the basic string shapes for the pentatonic scales you just stack these string shapes up the way they're supposed to be stacked up okay which goes C G Chuck's good dog always each Chuck so it's these will be on top of one another like that the C pentatonic, as everybody probably knows. C, C, G, D, A, warp over, or E, and then back to C, shape fitting that E and that C there. Okay, <clears throat> and that's shape fitting on your, uh, let's see, E to a C there. Their alias practically. Um, no, that was an A shape. Let's do that one more time. We got C shape on the bottom, of course. G shape. D shape. Pentatonic.